On the other hand, you got Jamal Charles, who's killing it, and boy, against a division rival like Oakland. Maybe Oakland will come up and try to stop him, but Oakland hasn't done crap. I think they're still uh, uh, haven't had a win yet, so I don't expect that to change. You got Justin Forsett with the revolving door of Baltimore. Is it his day? I don't know. Is it Bernard Pierce's day? I don't know. You can never tell with those idiots. And you got Rashard Jennings, hopefully returning to the field for 18, and Doug Baldwin for 20, earning that $61 paycheck from you. Unfortunately, Brandon yeah. Cooks, uh, I think what, broke like his finger or his hand? He's out on injured reserve. Yeah. He's off your list. And then you got Le'Veon Bell on by. Could be a tough week for you, but uh, we shall see. You got Matt Ryan going up against Cleveland, so we'll see what happens there. You never know how Matty Ice is going to play. I like Rockland simply because I like him. Like I want him to be the woodpecker and you to be the wood. Moving on. All right. Next, we've got Son versus Mother. Worst oh, team yes. ever versus the Grey Hill Bombers. There'll be no Oedipal Complex this weekend. I want to slay my mother, unfortunately, with Aaron Rodgers and Randall Cobb and a couple of slices with Jimmy Graham and Kendall Wright. Uh, she's got Andrew Luck, who I fear more than anything. And, of course, who's he going up against this week, folks? Jacksonville. That bodes well for me. I'm really looking forward to that. She At least she has Golden Tate hopefully being held down by a strong New England. Anquan Bolding against Washington. That's not looking good for me. And Demarius Thomas, again, if Emmanuel Sanders is out, I'm really worried and in bad shape because of Miami. I got Antonio Brown on a bye. That doesn't help me either. This one's going to come down to the wire, I'm hoping. I'm hoping to squeak out a win here. Sorry, Mama. Next up. I'm taking Braille in that one. Oh, shocker. Okay. <laughs> Next up, we've got the Malibu Stacys against the Punishment Dew. Yeah, this is funny because if you look at the lines as of today, and of course this is with Greg Olson still on a thing from earlier today, it had a 147 to 146. I'm sure that's going to change. She has a better chance there. Um... I would love for... Actually, you know what? I am rooting for her. I was going to say I'd like to see her beat just because she beat me and I want revenge. But I'm going to take that back, Malibu Stacey. I hope you crush Todd because that's going to help me in my division. Now it's all about the race to the end and putting Todd further down the totem pole. Uh, I'm hoping Tom Brady has a good day. Or Jay Cutler. Who the heck knows who she's going to start? Matt Forte. Yeah. She's got uh, Julio Jones still going. Jeremy Hill on a tear. Eddie Lacy going crazy. He, on the other hand, has what appears to be a good squad. But I hope Red does turn back into Beaker against Houston and loses. Uh, I hope Marshawn Lynch with all that trouble in Seattle and his fines he's getting, I hope uh, he is disgruntled and doesn't get his 18. Mark Ingram, who the hell knows what's going on with New Orleans? I don't trust that. Des Bryant coming back. That's never good for Don. Let's hope he only gets 18 as they projected. Alshon Jeffrey, it's a toss-up every week with him. DeAndre Hopkins and C.J. Anderson, we shall see again. Go, Don. Doesn't help if she's got Greg Olson now, but I'm still hoping she wins. Next game. Okay. Next game, we've got the Ralph Wiggum experience against the Mouseketeers. That's going to be a tough game. Yep, and again, we're all pulling for Terry, I believe, at least in our division, right? We want her to beat Jason because we don't need him winning again. He's got Romo with his bad, good back, uh, back playing in the game. He's got Macklin again, Calvin Johnson. He is scary. Thank goodness Adrian Peterson's still out for him, or we'd really be worried about Jason. Uh, Odell Beckham, God, that was a pickup. He's just, he raked raked the uh, the waiver wire to get him, I think, when somebody dropped him. So uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm worried that he's got a lot of guns going against Miss Mouseketeers. I'm hoping Peyton Manning has a bounce-back game after his loss. Could you believe Denver lost? I couldn't. A.J. Green should have a good day. Mike Evans, 19. Let's hope he gets another 46 for our case. And T.Y. Hilton, thank you very much. Let's hope he does well, but not too well, because I'm playing against the quarterback. Next up. Next up, we've got the Wild Poopers against the Pink Ladies. Yes, and the Pink Ladies are not looking good in the projection uh, era, but let's see what happens. Um... I think the Wild Poopers are going to pull it out because I don't think she stumbles two weeks in a row. She's going to make some adjustments on her line. She's got Sammy Watkins, who should have a big day. Larry, uh, Larry Fitzgerald, if he plays, should have a good day, although it's against Seattle. And she's got Drew Brees. Let's hope he comes back against Baltimore because I want them to beat Baltimore, obviously. And I hope he throws to Jimmy Graham once in a while. On the other side, we got Pink Ladies with Brandon Marshall, Cecil Shorts, who is playing this week. That's good. Check the rest of your lineup, please, Pink Ladies. We don't want Big Ben and Heath Miller giving you the goose egg. Uh, and let's hope Jason Witten does well against New York Giants, but not too well because, again, Romo ties back to my nemesis, Jason. Next up. Next up, and finally, we've got Krusty's Clown College against Denada. 
This one should actually be an interesting one. These are two folks fighting for playoff entries. Could come down to anybody's game. San Diego, I don't know what to think of. Uh, Phillip Rivers is supposed to have a good day. Josh Gordon coming back. He's waited this long, folks. Will Josh Gordon be the key for him making the playoffs? If he doesn't prove me wrong, that would be amazing. I just hope he doesn't beat me with Josh Gordon and really makes me eat my words. On the other hand, you got Daynata, Matthew Stafford, looking to have a better day than he did last week. DeMarco Murray comes back against their rival, the Giants, excuse me, their division rival, the Giants. And he's got a tough matchup with Andre Ellington and Michael Floyd going against Seattle, but who knows? Seattle's kind of been the Jekyll and Hyde on their defense front. Uh, on Krusty's tough side, Emmanuel Sanders, does he play after that hard hit? I don't know. Uh, and he's got Cam Newton on a bye, but I'm pretty sure he's going to go with Phillip Rivers anyway, so that should be a good game. I'm giving the edge to Day Nada. Last game... Or is this not the last, game? the last game? That was the last game. Well, folks, that was an exciting week. Thank you, Kevin, for calling in from Nashville. I had to pull him out of bed, and at least he put on a shirt. I would have liked to have him broadcast in bed, but he said that would be against the PG-13 rules we have. And there's already here. too many cameras pointed in my bed. Exactly. Way too many. So uh, thanks, everyone, for showing up for the event. We're going to have more to come. Obviously, the end of the year celebration at our house. But Kevin's going to be back in town in a week. We're going to get everybody together. Even if it's not for a game, we're going to get together and have a drink, Celebrate good times with our fantasy buds, and uh, set your lineups. We're at the, we're at, we're nearing the finish line. Only two weeks left. Who's gonna make it? I Who's know. gonna be bounced out? How's it all gonna rearrange? I don't know, but I'm excited. So good luck, everybody. Kevin, take us out. Stay classy, Bone Storm. <laughs>